Alright hosses, welcome back and in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use shared preferences and what shared preferences are is pretty much the easiest way to store user data or pretty much to save any small type of data on your application and another thing that people use it a lot for is if you have any app that's like customizable or you just want to save some settings like I don't know maybe you allow the user to like change the background color of their app or maybe um, there's like a setting to um, bump up the font size to make it easier to read any of those settings can really easily be saved using these things called shared preferences so just to demonstrate what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a really simple form and you can just make any um, thing that the user can type in and have a button called save but just so this example actually resembles an app in real life, I'm going to have one text field right here and another one right under it. So we'll say that this is like a login screen. So the first text view will just say um, username and this one will be like, I don't know, password. So I'm just going to write them in plain text so you guys can see. So obviously, you know, um, not the most secure tutorial in the world, but, you know, this is just a demo. So these are just text field little indicators telling the user what you want them to do. Just give myself a little bit more space. Get rid of that, too. All right, so now let's get some of these plain text. I'm just uh, stick it right there. Let me change this to like, how's 250 dp look? Too big. 180 dp? Holy jamolies. 180 dp? Let's go 200. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to 200 dp. Alright. Actually, let me just put that right there and another one right here. So again, what's going to happen in this demo is the user is going to type in some information right here and we'll have a button called save and then we can go shut off our phone um, go to the gym we can go look at other apps come back here and all of that information is going to be saved pretty stinking cool so the first thing I should probably do is give these an ID so the ID of where they type their username I'll just write user name input And for this one where they type their password, I'll just write password input. So now I'm going to add two buttons to here real quick. And the first one is going to be, I'll just add some text on it called, uh, what can I put like, save info. Let me add another button. Alright, so whenever they click this button, what it's going to do is it's going to take whatever they typed in here and it's going to save it to that shared preferences file. Now whenever they click this button, I'll just write display, um, actually I would name it display info or something like that. And let me add on clicks to here real quick. Alright, so this one, might as well just write like save info and for button 2 whenever we click this it will call a method called display data alright so again whenever we click this it's gonna display this info just to um, show you guys that it is indeed being saved so it would probably be a good idea to have some place to display it how about right there stick it right in the middle alright so this one we just need an ID so we can say where we're printing it out and the ID of this I'll just say like Bucky's text so one more time what we're gonna do to demonstrate what shared preferences are is you can actually have any type of data you can have like check marks um, you can get a true and false value from like any of these widgets right here but I'm just gonna save um, some string data through username and password so they're gonna type it in hit save info and we're gonna like close out of the app do whatever come back hit display info and it's gonna show you guys that it indeed was saved for them 
So now what I want to do is get rid of this stuff because we don't need it and I'm also going to get rid of that because it's bugging me. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is just get a reference to all of our widgets and that is edit text which were those inputs and I name mine user name input and I name the other one password input and that text view right here was what was that? Bucky's text. Text view Bucky's text. Alright, so now that we started creating them, let's actually set a reference to them. Username input equals edit text find me by id r dot id dot username input. Alright, so this one was password input and of course that's r.id.password input and last but not least we have Bucky's text and that was just that little text view and this is just going to be find by id r.id.buggy's text dun, 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 dun. all right so that's all the boring crap that's what we already knew how to do so now let me give myself a little bit more space and all right so we have two methods that we need to create the very first method is going to be called whenever we click this button and we gave it the on click of save info so whenever they click this it's going to take whatever they typed in and save it to that shared preferences file 